So let me ask you all a question. It's not positive self-talk necessarily, Joy, but self-talk is the key to opening up your brain soft. So what is one empowering question that you could ask yourself to make the behavior that you take a smart behavior? So Joy says, how can I succeed, right? Where can I find the algorithm to solve this? Who has the algorithm? Is it on Google? Is it in a book? Is it uh, through a coach, a consultant? Who has already solved what I want to solve that can make my work faster and easier? How can I? Who can help me? What needs to happen in order for me to solve this faster? You see how when we ask ourselves better questions, our brain will say, well, you could do this and this and this. So-and-so and so-and-so and so can help you. So this is part of the modeling. But first, before we do, we want to ask better questions. When we ask better questions, we lead ourselves. The behavior is, in many cases, a better behavior than the behavior that we would normally take on our own, right? So let me ask you a question. If you said to yourself, I wonder, I wonder, all right, what could I do to, let's say, earn twice as much money in the next 12 months as I did in the last 12 months? I wonder what I could do. I wonder who I could ask. Let me ask you a question. Would you agree that we all have limitations and obstacles would you agree that we all have limitations and obstacles? Just give me a yes or no answer. Do we all have limitations and obstacles? Yes or no? The answer is yes, of course, right? Now see a whole bunch of yeses. So we all have obstacles, we all have limitations that are in the way of us achieving our goal, right? So is the how to double your income in the next 12 months, is it solvable? Is it solvable, right? And everybody's saying yes, right? Is it solvable? So the answer is yes, it's solvable. What if I then ask myself, what is one obstacle in my way right now? What is one obstacle in my way right now? And you wrote down the obstacle is, um, maybe I have limiting beliefs or my obstacle is, I don't feel I'm worth earning double the income or my obstacle is I'm afraid of failure or my obstacle is I think the economy is bad uh, or my obstacle is whatever it is I have an obstacle or I have a self-imposed limitation is it true is it true that whatever your obstacle is I have habits okay money is never the problem Jen the reason you don't have money is the problem so is anxiety the real problem? No, anxiety is an effect. Not having money is an effect. Your habits do control your behavior. But if you are committed, is it true, okay, that if you were committed to removing the obstacle, you could behave in ways that would cause you to be more productive? Like, let's use our brain, right? You have a $100 billion brain. Right, so you have maybe disempowering beliefs, right? Time management, Skylight, there's no such thing as time management. No such thing as time management. Nobody can manage time. All thing you can do is manage what you do in time. Very, very different focus, right? So if you're committed, if you have obstacles, whether it's mental obstacles, emotional obstacles, or even a strategical obstacle, right? We have to focus on performance at three levels, mental, emotional, and behavioral. Would you agree? Mental, emotional, and behavior, M-E-B. Mental, emotional, and behavioral. So if I ask myself, what is the obstacle that I may have mentally, and I removed that, would I be more efficient? Yes, what is the obstacle emotionally? Okay, what is the obstacle that I may have emotionally that's preventing me from achieving the goal that I have? What if I remove that? And then what is the 
obstacle that I may have in my behavior. I may be working really, really hard as I showed you all before, but if I don't do the right things in the right order, I may be working really hard. So what I want you to understand is sometimes you have to slow down to pick up speed. Let me repeat, sometimes you have to slow down so that you could pick up speed. And what do you want to slow down for? You want to slow down long enough to at least, okay, to at least assess your reality, all right? To at least assess your reality, all right? What's holding me back mentally? Uh, is it limiting beliefs? Is it my perspectives? Is it my emotional um, um, challenges that I'm having around fear? How many of you have a fear of failure? Or how many of you are laden with fear of maybe being embarrassed or ashamed or ridiculed or judged and that's why you don't take action? Are you aware, for example, that when you procrastinate, you don't do what you need to do? Procrastination is an effect. Can anybody tell me what procrastination is an effect of? What causes you and me to procrastinate, right? That's an obstacle. If you procrastinate, that's an obstacle. What causes the human being, okay, to procrastinate? What causes a human being to procrastinate? There's only three things that really will cause people to procrastinate. So fear, yeah, fear of what? Doubt, so what causes doubt? What causes fear, right? Right, so think about this. When we procrastinate, is it possible that procrastination actually rewards us? Think about this. Is it possible from a neuroscience perspective that we are rewarded when we procrastinate? 